This is the instructional video for a two-point calibration of a Symphony pH meter. Before starting your calibration, make sure you have the following items. A Symphony pH meter with a pH electrode and a temperature electrode, two separate pH buffer solutions, deionized water in a waste beaker, and some Kim wipes. Make sure that both probes are plugged into the appropriate ports at the back of the instrument. Remove the bottle of electrode stored solution from the end of the pH probe and move the clear band around the top of the probe down to uncover the vent hole. Rinse both probes with deionized water and blot them dry with a Kim wipe. Place both probes into either of the buffer solutions and swirl the container gently to remove any bubbles from around the ends of the electrodes. Turn the instrument on and leave the probes in the solution for approximately a minute before entering calibration mode. Go into calibration mode by pressing CAL on the instrument. The screen should read pH CAL, then automatically change to show the pH reading of your solution and CAL 1. The pH reading has stabilized when the pH icon on the right side of the screen has stopped flashing. The correct value for the buffer solution you are using should be shown. Press CAL again to save the value for your first calibration and to add a second. The screen should now read CAL 2. Remove the electrodes from the first buffer solution and rinse them with deionized water and blot them dry before placing them in the second buffer solution. Place the probes in the second buffer solution and gently swirl the container. The instrument should automatically read the correct pH. Again, you will know the value has stabilized when the pH icon to the right of the reading stops flashing. Press the measure button to save the values for your two calibration points. SLP will appear on the screen momentarily and be replaced by the main analysis screen showing the pH of your current solution. The two values of your calibration standards should be shown above the reading and the measurement icon should be shown in the top right hand corner of the screen. The instrument is now calibrated and can be used to analyze samples as needed as long as the probes are rinsed with deionized water and dried between samples. When you are finished running all of your samples, rinse the probes a final time and blot them dry. Replace the bottle of electrode storage solution on the end of the pH probe and move the clear band around the probe so that the vent hole is covered. Turn the instrument off and return it.